excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fabled Town business. Don't worry. Right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Ah. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> This is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. They only care about helping criminals. No, I, I think you've got the wrong idea. They help all kinds of people. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, Flycatcher. You know about this? Uh, no. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. This is worse than I thought. Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, she 
Just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. W what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? <sighs> I, I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Wow. JD. A book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher. What is this stuff? Sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but... Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. 
anti-greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this. I'll check in with the business office. Maybe there's a record of Auntie Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean... I guess it doesn't matter yet. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. I'll go to Crane's apartment, see if there's an address or something there. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Bluebeard burned everything. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all of Crane's stuff? Something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did the Tweedle brothers have any information about the witch? Just her name. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. That's strange. I can check the books for you. How long is that gonna take? If I haven't come across her name before, she's not going to be very easy to track down. I'll head over to the Trip Trap. Maybe I can get some information from Holly. Uh, but... What? After what happened at the funeral? She may not be too happy about seeing you. I have a job to do. I can't avoid Holly just because she might not like me anymore. If she ever liked you in the first place. Sorry. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. <laughs> 